Don't worry, it's not gonna burn down. What happens like when you look at this plane? It's that scary, you know? I had no idea what I was getting myself into. That side's done, I gotta do the other side now. Playing with fire and glass normally isn't advised, but today we'll be doing both. Come with me to glass bubble. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Alexander Colon. I go by Alexander the Great Glass, owner of Glass Bubble Miami. Glass blowing, I've been doing it for about seven to eight years. I pretty much like started dabbing, which is smoking wax, not herb, you know? And once I started doing that, you kind of open up a world of rigs. Are these uh, like uh, special glasses? They're, uh, what makes our glasses special? Didium what? They're made of a specific material, didymium. didymium? Yeah, they call them diddies for short. If you start looking too much at the flame, you're gonna notice. Beginners always stare at the flame. I don't know what it is. Uh -huh. What happens like when you look at the flame? It's almost like, you know, when you look, look at up the at the sun, sun and you... I like making glass that makes people happy. You know, I don't... I like cartoons. I like very cute little characters, kawaii-themed stuff. And like, you know, for a guy, that's kind of weird sometimes. But for me, I was like, that's what I wanted to put into my work. And it's worked really well because I do notice that men and women love my work the same. And it's just like a cartoon thing. It's very happy, you know? So I prepped out a little piece of clear for you so that we can make that into a pendant. What you're gonna do is you're gonna decorate it with frit, which is crushed glass, little colors, there's blues and whites in there. Okay. Most people say like their fear is burns, but I would say cuts is what happens way more often than burns to me personally. What do you, what do you get cut with? Oh man, ends of color all day. Like oh. you see that little, that little thing? Oh yeah. That is like glass blower's worst enemy right there. Yeah. Like usually you wanna go like this and Break it off. Because otherwise, it, the tip is so sharp, that paper thin piece of glass slices you so fast and so deep, and then it just doesn't stop bleeding the rest of the day. Now, I've had pieces of glass in my skin for like weeks at a time, little piece. We've had this spot for three years now, almost three years now, and it's been a growing process since the day we moved in here. Just like everyone that moves in here, their brand grows. All right, turn off the speaker. They're influence grows. You ain't gonna have a place to rent next month. Bro, I got two rentals. You forgot already though? Their skill grows. It's it's a very nurturing shop of like building each other up. I need you no more, talk. It's not like you rent here, make your money and go home. You know, we all work together and bounce ideas off each other and stuff like that. Hot and nervous. Nervous and hot. I warned you it was gonna be hot. Put it right there around this side of the flame, right there. A little farther in there. And now dip it in the frit. Take it out. And then we're gonna melt that one in and then we're gonna start doing the other side a bit. What color is this? Is it blue? It's it's white and two shades of blue mixed together. We got something called stringers, which a stringer is colored glass pulled from a, a rod like this. So you pull something this thin out of something like this, and the purpose is so that now when you go decorate your pieces, you can Draw little letters if you want, maybe put a little heart. And I'm gonna get some of the stringers and have you apply some of the stringers onto the melted in frit. Even when I started, and I started out of my backyard in a shed, in my parents' backyard, the amount of time it took to get that setup done was almost a year because every new tool I brought in was a new discussion with my parents about, don't worry, it's not gonna burn down, I know what I'm doing, even though honestly I didn't know what I was doing. So you're gonna get this pink or this purple, so you're gonna get a nice, very tight flame. So you would find your spot, you push, boom, you see? And then now if you liked your design, you go in and you melt it in, you could even Push it in a bit more. You think I'm sweating because it's hot? No, I'm just nervous. <laughs> Push hard into the piece. There you go. And just track it. But you're going to want the flame to keep touching your the color. There you go, your stringer. Perfect. So I need an idea of like, what kind of pattern should I do? Any pattern I tell you to do, you're not going to be able to do it. OK. I want to hit. Good job, though. Very impressive, I'm not going to lie. Dude, that looks cool. Okay. Like, the way you just laid it out like that. <laughs> Like this side was more of a mess for sure, but this side, like it looks like something intentional happened here. If I knew the struggle it, it would take to get here, I most likely would have never started because it's that scary, you know? I had no idea what I was getting myself into. It's just not your typical art painting. A lot of people 
And this is obviously no offense to any painter, but with painting you can splatter a lot of colors, very nice colors on a canvas, sell it in the right place, and you can get it sold. With glass, if you've never blown glass, or even if you've blown glass for seven months, sometimes you still have not enough skill to make something nice and sellable. When you're about to start a piece, like where does where do you get your ideas from? Inspiration's a key, like seeing another artist do something. Mm. There's just the main, the main key to what my next project is. Having a mentor is extremely important, especially for beginners, not just for marketing, branding, and technique, but just to have that guidance of this is what it takes. You know, like seeing the hours they put in, seeing their work get better, and it just being really obvious that like, oh, I want to get better, I got to put in those hours. You know, there's no way around it. There's no classes you could take. There's no video you can watch. You have to work. You have to put in the hours. It's like period. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see the final product and follow me on Alexander the Great Glass and Glass Bubble Miami to keep up with the action.